Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to my Mass Effect 3 Insanity Difficulty video walkthrough. This is the second section to saving the Admiral, and this is the Geth Primes. So, this is a pretty tough fight, because these guys will strip your shield and your life quick as hell. And what you want to do, as soon as you get out of the elevator, pick up this, this, I forget its name because I was too busy doing my intro to read it. It's a heavy weapon that's littered around this room, and start stripping these geths down. You want to hit them with the sabotage as quick as you can so that they help you, and then you can hit them without them hitting your back, and you just need to systematically eliminate all of them in this room. And luckily enough, if you've got Tali and you've got that move, it will make it easier. If you've got this awesome gun, it'll make it easier. If you don't, it could be kind of challenging. So there it is, it's the Geth Spitfire. And I've just ran past it, so... I'm probably cursing my look right now as that dude looks over there and I'm waiting for the, the sabotage to to kick in as he hits me with it. Goodness me, they do so much damage. But what am I what are you doing, Chris? Get the Spitfire. Go on, get it. There you go. Satali's just died, and this makes this bit kinda kinda awkward. But luckily enough, I know if I go into adrenaline shot. I can do massive damage, and I also know if I use my Medigel, she'll get up, and I can start using that ability on the Geth. So, don't check me out. Come on, doing it on my own as he hits me again. I don't know why I'm not using... Oh, there we go. I use the ability, it distracts him, I shit on his face. There you go. So, I don't know why I've not been using it more frequently, the sabotage, but you want to do so, people. It makes this fight an absolute joke, and without it, this can be pretty challenging. But there's the sabotage, then you can just keep hitting him with the Spitfire. And the Spitfire is kind of weird because sometimes it doesn't do any damage when you're firing at them and then immediately it starts doing loads of damage. It's, it's almost like it has to get warmed up before it really deals damage. It's, it's a strange weapon. But now that you've done that, all that's left to do is move over to the, the lovely balcony slash precipice that's directly in front of me now. And there's going to be an interesting cutscene and a little gameplay moment that is heavily underused in this game. So, spoiler alert, we're going to practically be using a Hammer of Dawn now. And we're using it to... Well, I'm not too sure why we're using it. It's been a while since I, I listened to the cutscenes on this section. But we're hitting that. I assume it's something to do with the Reapers or something bad. And this is a weapon that effectively sends the Normandy to do a drive-by. So there's the Normandy. It fires its cruise missiles or whatever it's got. That is pretty cool. I liked that a lot. Now just imagine if you could carry that, that shoulder, that launcher on your back while you play. So every so often when it recharges and you hear that lovely beep, like that gun off a of demolition man that, you know, Wesley Snipes uses in that museum, you pull it out, you start lasing a target, the Normandy comes and does a strafe run. Would that not be the coolest thing in a Mass Effect ever? Obviously it'd need to be balanced so that you can only recharge it maybe every 15 minutes or something. So if those cheesy bastards are like, you know, sitting in cover for 15 minutes to get that gun every 15 minutes, and that's all they do, it'd take them, you know, 200 hours to beat the game. And make it realistic, of course. Don't make it fireable indoors. And maybe have to buy ammunition for it at the Citadel to refund, you know, the, the Normandy's missiles. But it'd be like having a Predator missile during the campaign. It'd just, it'd be cool. And... I don't know, how do these people not have these ideas? I think that would be awesome, I really do. Maybe, maybe I'm a, an idiot and don't know anything about games, but to me, wasted opportunity. So, this is another thing that looks epic and climactic, but it's actually really anticlimactic because you don't have to shoot this Reaper at all. This will just end without you firing a bullet, which I think is hilarious. Because there's the wind whipping, you're moving on rails, it's like, it's so intense, you've got to kill the Reaper. And <laughs> it does itself in. Look at that shit. Why is that not a 20 minute on rail section that is the most amazing thing in Mass Effect? <laughs> Casey Hudson, what were you thinking, brother? But thanks for watching, guys. You take care now.